Hi agents, welcome back to a new Division 2 video. In this video we go after our second minehunt target of season 10. This guy. Sean Micro Clark, a former army mechanic charged with maintaining and retrofitting the Black Tusk's combat infrastructure. If you've ever faced one of their drones, you have Micro to thank for that. So our target this time is Micro. In this video we do all the manhunt activities and tomorrow we're doing the manhunt mission. If you're ready for it, then we start with the control point at Navy Plaza. So when you complete the Navy Plaza control point, you get the first audio about batteries with Vic. I need more batteries, Vic. <sighs> I gave you enough for six months. You don't need more batteries, you just need to charge them. And how do you suppose I do that, Vic? Use one of the solar relays, plug into the local grids, put up a wind turbine, pick your poison. That takes time. Vic, we don't have time. Tell you what. I'll give you all your dead batteries, and you can charge them, while I blow up that hostile encampment to make sure you're safe. By hostile encampment, you mean that village by the river? A village armed with assault rifles, Vic. They're not a threat. I still got a job to do, and all I see is an armed threat. Make yourself useful, and fix my batteries. Now it's time for a chaotic public execution and a hostage rescue. So now we only have to take over a territory control. After completing the territory control you will receive another audio. This again is a conversation between Micro and Vikram Malik. months. I never said I was out of anything. <sighs> You're an asshole. I know. Well, now I really don't know what to do with you. What is that supposed to mean? I mean, the boss lady told me I could do whatever I wanted with you. Cut you loose, kill you, put you back to work. I was gonna kill you, but now I'm not so sure. That's great. Hey, you've done a lot for this organization. And I know we wouldn't have been able to get this far without you. So part of me feels like you've done your service and should be rewarded for that. And the other part thinks you just like fucking with me and making my day harder. So that makes me want to kill you. <laughs> You're not alone. Plenty of people want to kill me. I'm still here. Yeah? I don't think that means what you think it does, Vic. Having a lot of people wanting you dead 
ain't some kind of badge of honor. It means you're an asshole. Oh, I'm aware. Micro. See? Now, the way you just said my name like that makes me want to kill you again. But you're a defenseless, unarmed nerd who sells batteries. And it wouldn't be a fair fight. It doesn't even seem right. Well, since I'm so defenseless and the world is so brutal now, why don't you just leave me at the next port and we'll see what kills me first? Starvation? Wild animals? Or one of my many enemies? <laughs> It's not a bad plan. Sounds fair. Sounds right. Yeah. I think she'll like that outcome. Now we have one more horde to know where Micro is hanging out. The Focus Squadron Bounty in the Federal Triangle. If we defeat our guy Money, then we will know where Micro is hiding. So agents, our bounty target money is defeated, we received a location for Micro at the Viewpoint Museum. Tomorrow we play that mission, but for now I want to thank you for watching. Stalker out. Vikram Malik is a problem. Is Vic a problem, or are you concerned that he might be a problem? Concern. What did he do now? I think he's holding out on us. There's nothing left to hold out. Vic has served his purpose, maybe it's time to let him go. Don't we need him to charge the Warhounds? Vic was always a temporary solution to an immediate problem. I'm working on something more... permanent. What do you want me to do with him? Whatever you think is right. <laughs>